Hi everyone, this is Ants. Five months ago, I did a review on the Godot um, Ocean Waves, and it's basically an amazing project that basically generates endless uh, uh, simulation of ocean waves, and you could change all sorts of stuff like how calm and, and uh, how crazy the ocean waves are. And one of the things that uh, was missing was a buoyancy system. And so I, I looked at uh, another repo that a fork of it uh, from KrautDev, and I'll, I'll even link his uh, video, um, where he's implemented um, a buoyancy solution. And the hard part was is basically uh, he got um, the Y component, the height of the water, depending in, in any global position. So that's, once you have that, you can make your own buoyancy system. And I created my own. Um, the one KrautDev uh, did is perfectly fine, but mine has kind of like uh, Archimedes force and dampening and um, the actual buoyancy. I have a maximum rotation, right? So even in very, very tough waves, it will never tip over. Uh, so some of the things, but he's done the hard part and I have to give him ma major credit, but I, f I basically uh, used his fork as my basis to my solution. This model here is Kenny's uh, pirate ship. He, in his video, he actually has a really good looking uh, sailing ship. Uh, I didn't have the time to kind of look at Sketchfab and download it and import it and all that. I already had this, so that's why I used it. And I also have my aircraft carrier. I don't think it's behaving really well. It's very unstable. It's just too long. It's not really a good example and stuff, but at least I know it's kind of uh, my buoyancy system is working. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna show you where the repos are now. If you're only here for eye candy, then that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go into the details of where to find this, how I base it my solution and how it works and all that kind of stuff. And so, yeah, so let's, um, Let's see where to get everything, right? So uh, here is the original, oops. Here is the original from uh, 2 Retro. Uh, again, he hasn't touched it in five months and I reviewed it five months ago. It's been starred 2.3 thousand times. It's been forked over a hundred times. It's very, very uh, popular. And again, if you want a full kind of uh, video on just the original, then just uh, I'll link in the description the original video. Now, it's been forked many times and there is a bunch of people that did displacement uh, solutions. But I, I looked at this one uh, from KrautDev and he also has a, a video uh, on, on, on this solution and he goes through it in detail. So I'll link this one too. You should follow him and subscribe. Uh, it looks good stuff. But here is his repo. And the most important thing he's done so far is he gets the world position height of the water. And that's basically the minimum you need to actually implement a buoyancy system. And he's actually uh, encouraging people to help him and collaborate on this. I might, I might uh, help him all that. And so, yeah, this is where to find kind of the baseline of the solution, right? And I based my solution on this. And he also has a video, okay? And so let's go to Godot now. And so here we have everything basically, right? And I created my own buoyancy script and it has buoyancy power, a dampening, right? I just keep it at one, no dampening. Archimedes force, what's Archimedes force? Uh, just look it up, Archimedes principle. It's basically the buoyant force um, of something immersed in a fluid and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the the Y offset is good because sometimes your model uh, and I'm using collision shapes. He wasn't uh, uh, Kraut Dev wasn't using collision shapes. I'm using collision shapes so that when boats actually hit each other and and they'll actually um, give a force to each other. Um, but anyways, that's outside it and. Um, the minimum max rotation is important, right? So I set, uh, I actually check this, and if you don't want your um, your ship to flip over, then don't change this to one one one, or else it will flip over and all that kind of stuff. And that's basically it. And in terms of the script, um, let's see the script. 
is new. Here it is. It's not that complicated. It actually uses four points, which I should show you basically. Um, there are four points um, that are set and you can set as many points as you want. But basically these four points are sampled for the height of the water at this point. And, that, and then it uses that water sample to apply a force to uh, the collision shape, right? So um, that's what this loop is, the array points, right? It, it goes through each one, which means you could have eight points. Four at a minimum is, is what you need. If you only have a simple sphere or box, you could you go with one point. And basically, this is what... Um, I'm getting from uh, Kraut Dev is get me the water height. And once you do that, then you can use a bunch of math to apply uh, a force, right? You apply a force and then I basically min the rotation based on the min max rotation that I set. So it will never tip over and that sort of thing. So that's basically, it's just using a bunch of math to figure out what the rotation of your rigid body is. And that's basically it, uh, right? And if you look at um, here is you set your points, you assign the water. So this is what the Kraut uh, Dev solution is. You as assign the water um, to uh, the water field that's been exported. And that's basically it. Now, in terms of how things kind of float, you have to basically change these different parameters in here. For me, is basically the Y offset and Archimedes force is the only thing you need to do. And maybe the mass, if it's too heavy, it sinks heavy into the water and it needs more buoyancy. So you might have to bump the buoyancy power. power. So that's basically it. Uh, and that's at a high level, um, a review of using, oh yeah, this, it for some reason at the beginning, it's almost like an, an explosion of force that happens uh, and eventually calms down. And let's reduce the wave size a little bit because uh, high weight, like if you put a high wave, it's a lot of force, right? So Kenny's model, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. So that's basically it. Godot Ocean Waves with a buoyancy system. Uh, and again, uh, my buoyancy system might not be perfect, but I'm used to it. So that's why I use uh, my buoyancy system here. And it's based on a shader um, that is in Godot shaders and stuff like that. So, But I'm pretty sure uh, Kraut Dev solution is just as good. It's just he didn't use collision shapes and that sort of thing. Um, and that's the reason why I changed mine. So that's basically it. I have links to kind of everything. Eventually I'll put this re my repo on uh, GitHub, maybe on the weekend, but that's basically it. I hopefully you enjoyed it. Let's crank up the, the storm. Oh dear, oh dear. By the way, Kenny's ship sometimes goes airborne. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh my God, that's awesome. That's a bit too much though. Take care everybody. Hope you enjoyed it.